This video is brought to you by Honestly Clean Carpets. In this video, we are going to show you how we clean Oriental rugs off-site. We're not going to spend a lot of time going over the background on the individual carpets we're cleaning. For instance, the country that they were made in, the time or the years that the carpets were constructed, the type of construction, or the fabric in the carpet. Um, but we're going to go through more of a general overview of the different kinds of procedures that we use depending upon the conditions in the carpet. There is no standard or one way to clean an area rug. Depending upon the condition of the area rug, the construction, the type of fabric, the age, and, and the conditions present in the carpet, we, we will use very different techniques in these situations. The general principles, though, remain the same. We will use cleaning agents, heat, agitation, and time to clean the area rugs. Area rugs can be cleaned both on-site or brought back to the plant. Purists will tell you that they can only be cleaned back at the plant. Uh, the techniques that one uses on off-site cleaning are more thorough and, and different kinds of techniques can be used as we will show you in this video. Studies have shown that 80% of materials that are in carpets can best be removed through either vacuuming or some kind of other process. So I'm going to show you um, various tools we have here to help remove material from carpets before we wet clean them. Now we're going to uh, use the rug beater and we're going to beat the carpet. So what we have here is we have the carpet upside down. Okay, so here's the um, rolled over a little piece. We have grates, okay, that are against the floor here. And the concept is, is that the agitation from the machine agitates the carpets upside down and beats out the uh, grounding dirt that's been there for, uh, for any number of years. So what we do is we get the machine set up. beating the carpet. Um, that carpet was a highly soiled carpet in a, a major traffic area and uh, we'll take a peek at uh, what came out of the carpet. So the bullet the grate and as you can see uh, that's really pre pretty significant. So this is actually what came out of the carpet. So if we come and we actually boom it up a little bit you can see actually very very significant. So uh, not ever, obviously not every carpet is going to come out with uh, this kind of soil out of it, but that's uh, pretty significant and the advantage of, uh, of using a carpet beater on all types of carpets. An excellent tool to use for dry soil removal would be this uh, pile lifter. It's a 67 pound vacuum cleaner with a nice soft nylon brush and um, it's pretty intense and it really does a great job at uh, soil removal. <laughs> our brush pro for uh, dry soil removal. It's, um, it's got two counter rotating brushes and it's uh, again excellent at removing dry soil from carpets. A major concern when cleaning wool carpets is bleeding or dye migration, which is actually the movement of dye from one, one color of the carpet to another color of the carpet. So uh, what one needs to be really concerned uh, before starting a carpet to make sure that that uh, won't occur. So there's three different uh, ways that you can go about testing it. Uh, the first way is we take our cleaning agent and we put it on a white, uh, white washcloth and we actually press it onto the colors of the carpet. And we give it a pretty good press 
okay, we can let it sit for a little bit. We come up and then we take a peek. We could actually, if we want, take a little take a little magnifying glass here and really get in and look for it. And quite frankly, we're not seeing any, so uh, we're pretty happy about that. So that's something that we do a quick test. And actually here, yeah, if you take a peek, we actually have some Q-tips that have been sitting in here for, uh, well, we've probably about a half an hour right now. And we put our cleaning agent on the Q-tips. And again, what we're doing is we put it on a whole bunch of the different colors that we suspect may bleed. And as we take a peek, Again, we're looking at this and we're confirming that there's no transfer of colors, which is another indication that, that really in the drying stage, which is the, the typical time that it happens, we won't get any, uh, any uh, dye migration. The third and most extensive way is really something that we had overnight. So we actually took these bricks here, okay, and we we actually put a cleaning agent on this cloth right here, compressed between both bricks, okay? And then if you look at it, again, uh, no, no, color, no color transfer, which uh, is just a, a third and really the most accurate indication if there be dye migration. Uh, even with all this testing, there's, there's still a possibility that there could be dye migration, so one always needs to uh, be uh, conscious of that in the cleaning process. So when we do that, we do see a little bit of a transfer, which always gets one concern that we can have some dye, dye migration and, and really bleeding or running of colors, and, and typically it happens in the drying stage. So what we can do on this carpet, and what we do at times, is we'll throw down a, an agent to help dye lock the carpet, meaning it kind of sets the dyes so you don't get dye migration in, in the, typically the drying stage. So we're throwing down a thigh lock agent, okay? And what we'll do is, on this particular carpet, it's kind of a small carpet, we'll actually just hand rub it in. Now we're gonna put our cleaning agent uh, on the area rug. Cleaning agents we use are non-toxic, uh, biodegradable, safe for us to use, safe for children, pets, adults to lay on, and um, that's, that's not an issue. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply the uh, cleaning agent to the whole carpet here, and we'll continue and do this. After applying the pre-spray, we then agitate the carpets to fully work in the pre-spray and loosen the soil from the carpet fiber. Here we have our brush pro, which is a 67 pound machine with counter rotating brushes that do an excellent job of working in the pre spray and loosening all the soil from the carpets. This is a typical kind of extraction that one can use in cleaning carpets, wall to wall, and also air. Okay, 
So now we're going to show you uh, how we clean the fringes of the carpets. Uh, we have a um, agent here, uh, fairly mild. Um, so well, first what we're doing is so we're dipping it in. I'm actually just taking a just a white washcloth and um, just kind of agitating them uh, right right into the uh, fringe. Uh, you know, certain certain folks will use uh, bleach on um, on fringe. Although bleach uh, will strip out color, it's kind of harsh and it will definitely disintegrate the, uh, the fringe, so uh, not uh, really recommended. Uh, but in any event, let me continue on and uh, we'll show you the results uh, when we get there. Okay, we're ready to extract the uh, fringe and uh, clean it up, so let's, uh, let's extract it and let's see what it looks like. Now we have an area rug with uh, a ton of urine, also some feces on it, has a, a pretty good odor. So what we're doing is we have it in our pool here, and we're actually literally s saturating it with water. So uh, we really have to make sure that we thoroughly saturate it. So uh, we'll thoroughly saturate it, and uh, we'll check back, and um, we'll look at the progress that we're having. So we're continuing along with our process, and as you can see, the carpet is thoroughly saturated with water. We have some agents on the carpet to help eliminate the, uh, the urine and the feces smell, get it out of the carpet, and really soak the carpet. So as you can see, we got a tremendous amount of, of water here. Uh, what we then do is uh, we're going we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna to do it. We're going to obviously flush out the water and um, flush out the water from the carpet, and at that point we'll, uh, we'll clean up the carpet. So uh, we'll continue flushing it out. So after flushing out the carpet, you know, with our cleaning agents to remove. Uh, the urine and feces and the smell, now we're giving the carpet a thorough shampooing. So what we've done is we filled up the pool again, uh, we put down our shampoo, and then we take our agitation machine and we agitate it and thoroughly get it in. So this is really going to penetrate most of the carpet, uh, really to the base of the carpet with all the water we have in there. So we're going to clean it up and then uh, we'll, we'll flush it out again. So we'll show you uh, show you the remaining part of the process. Uh, as we squeegee the carpet here, I don't know if you can see this, but there's definitely uh, a discoloration, a uh, little brownish color in there coming out of the carpet. Uh, I'm not sure how that picks up on film. In any event, even after soaking it uh, for, for close to the hour that we did to get out the urine and to flush it out with the shampoo, we're still really thoroughly cleaning the carpet. So we're, we're talking about a, an area rug over wood floors with uh, three big dogs uh, running around and, uh, and you know, things happening. So, uh, you know, again, this is the most extreme case of cleaning, but uh, it's certainly an option out there to get your carpets uh, really to smell out and back to a, uh, a new state. So, we spent the last hour really flushing out the carpet with water and, and soaking it back up through our water cloth. And in the final stages, I'll uh, really extract the whole water out of the carpet with a water cloth, and you can see some of the uh, excess water that's remaining is being, is being sucked up. So again, washed out the carpet in a very thorough manner, put cleaning agents to combat the urine and feces, sucked out all the water, turned over the water probably five, eight, ten times to really flush it out good, and now the carpet is in uh, a condition that now we're ready to clean. So I have in front of us uh, an area rug here that uh, we're going to be working on. Uh, we've actually set it up in a pool, so there's a couple situations going on. There's definitely a uh, there's definitely marks. So so this was under a dining room table. So obviously um, a lot of work was done over here in this section, and a lot of work was done over here in this section. So there's years and years of grinding involved. 
Uh, there's a little bit of, little bit of um, situation going on here also. Uh, in addition, there's also a um, urine problem um, with this carpet. It's not crazy crazy, but there's definitely a background uh, urine uh, odor going on. Um, I just want to say that in these sections, through the grinding through years and years and years, there's no way that I would expect that this section of the carpet's going to return to this section because the, the basic, basically the, the actual fiber itself is worn away and grounded out. So, um, so we'll do our best, we'll see what we, could, uh, we can do with it and um, we'll go through a couple steps with you uh, so you can get an idea of how we clean uh, and approach uh, a carpet like this. So what we're going to first do, we're going to take these worst spots here and we're going to put on a uh, little bit of a cleaning agent here and we're going to wet it pretty, pretty darn good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come in and then agitate them a decent amount uh, so that we're actually getting the worst spots in the carpet. So you can use a bunch of different things to agitate. We actually have a uh, soft brush here. It's one thing we can use. You know, and we'll really agitate it. And again, uh, there's a lot of stuff here. So there's probably some carpet fibers coming off. Um, obviously loosening up the dirt and whatever else is in here. And I mean, the carpet's pretty wide. It's basically almost through. Uh, it's pretty close to being through the whole carpet. But again, we really want to soak this pretty good uh, to see what loosens up. So after a little bit of testing on this carpet, uh, we, um, well, how it's possible that it can handle a full, uh, full version. It has a uh, pretty good odor, a uh, urine odor on it. So that's something that really needs to be uh, handled really by uh, the best way would be to actually soaking it right through, taking, taking uh, basically the water that's in and sucking that up. So we're going to make sure that we thoroughly, thoroughly soak it, okay, during that process we're doing right now in our bowl, okay, and then we're actually going to... Uh, take the water as the water comes out and we actually have a little uh, water core in our, uh, in our pool here that uh, actually sucks it out and something that we'll dry it out at the end. So we have our water coming, we'll make sure that we get it right to the end. The urine was really through most of the carpet here and uh, we'll bring it out and thoroughly, as you can tell, thoroughly saturate the carpet. Okay, and, uh, and we'll get that urine out. So, uh, just gonna get that water out and uh, keep it Thank you for watching this video. I hope you gained some insight in implant cleaning of areas.